show you a great drill that's going to help you start scoring more points in real games. Let's get into it. So in today's drill, we're going to be taking all the skills necessary to be a great scorer and combining them into one drill. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our handles here, we're going to be working on our dribble moves, and then we're going to be working off our shot off the dribble. All of these are necessary to be a great scorer. If you can do all of these, if you can handle the ball well, if you can make good, clean moves, um, go somewhere with your moves, sell your moves, and then if you can shoot off the dribble, you'll be able to score a ton of points in real games. So as you can see here, you're going to set up some cones. Don't worry, I'll show you everywhere you need to set them up. And then we're, then we're going to have different variations of dribble moves that we're going to do towards the cones. It's going to be similar to a zigzag setup. And then we're going to attack at the top of the key, we're going, we're going to attack with that same dribble move that we're working on in the drill, and we're going to attack and score off of the dribble. So again, we're going to have different variations for the drill. We're going to have different moves for the different sets that you're going to be doing, and I'm going to explain all that. Let's go straight to here where I explain the drill. All right, so as you can see here, we have the cones set up. All you need is four cones. You could set this drill up full court. I just set it up half court. A lot of players don't have an entire full court to work with. Some might just be at home. So that's why we're gonna keep it short right here, four cones. We have, well, when you start, you're gonna start in the middle of the baseline. So not the corner, not the middle of the baseline, but in between um, the, the lane line and the out of bounds line, you'll be in between there. So you're gonna approach the first cone. We're doing four sets of this drill, four different sets, each set, is gonna have five reps, all right? So the first set, we're doing crossovers. So here, here, again, we're just doing four moves, boom. Now when you get here, you're turning, all right? If you're on the right side of the court, you have the ball in your left hand, you're attacking, and your move is gonna be in between these two cones. So attacking, cross here, Hit the pull up at the right elbow. So all your reps and all your sets when you're on this side of the court will be just like that. So the next set, you'll, you'll do five reps of that, between, I mean crossovers. Next we're going to between the legs. So we're here, boom, boom. Come right back here, boom. Getting into our shot. All right, so next. Again, start from the middle, behind the back, behind the back, behind the back. Remember, keep your head up, stay low, come right here, right there, pull up. Last but not least, we're doing the drop cross. This is the last move, of the, this is the last set you're going to be doing. So we're here, boom, you're just dropping it, dropping it. Come right back here, attack, get into your shot. All right, so remember when you're doing this drill, we're doing, again, five reps. So that means you're going through five times crossovers, five times between the legs, five times behind the back, five times drop cross, finishing. It only counts if you make the shot though. So that's the kicker right there. Um, and then when you're done with this side, guess what we do? We kind of migrate the entire drill to this side of the court and we work on both sides. So when you're coming this way, you're going to be attacking with your opposite hands. Everything's going to be opposite. So that way you're working on every aspect of your game. You're working on your right hand, your left hand, scoring off of both sides of the court, um, going hard both ways with each dribble move. So this drill, as you can see, is really going to help you start to improve your scoring. It's going to help you making harder moves, um, moves. You're, it's going to make you more effective when you attack now you're going to be used to going hard. You got to go hard. You can see me. 
I'm sweating right here. I'm not walking through these drills. I'm going hard. You have to push yourself. If you lose the ball, that's fine. Go pick it up, get back to the front, go again. If you miss five, 10 shots in a row, that's fine. Push yourself to go hard, um, make every shot count. Then in between each rep, I mean, in between each set, I want you to come to the free throw line, shoot five foul shots, then get into the next set. The reason I want you to do this is because after a set, you're gonna be tired. So what this is gonna do is gonna one, help you shoot free throws while you're tired, and two, it's gonna give you a little time to recover so you can hit the next set hard. I hope this video helped you out. If you wanna learn